here is this is going to be my next um, unboxing I got my September L crate box in the mail last week I briefly opened it I do not remember what is in it um, specifically because I did not look at it again until I was going to do this video so some of it's gonna be a surprise to me again as well um, so here it is and I'm super excited the theme is mythical creatures and we shall see what's inside okay so look at this I love this so much I love the con the constellation types trap and let's see if there's dragons and griffins I'm not sure what the last one is it looks like a bunny with or a rabbit with horns it's kind of interesting um so this will be fun um and there's the back with the spoilers um of what's in it and yeah so here we go okay so first what i find on top is uh, a son of poseidon percy jackson themed eucalyptus tea ball tea bath salts by the soap librarian i have not heard about them so this is going to be really cool let's see they have epsom and sea salt chamomile cornflower pearls calendula lavender rose hibiscus orange peel and blue one in it I wonder oh it smells really good it smells like ocean weed. look um so i really love this this is so cool i love the way it smells um i'm looking at my little cheat sheet here yeah so i'm excited to try those because i must i have a physically hard job and sometimes it's nice to like take a bath and like relax and do those eucalyptus salts took my feet whatever okay so the next item i find is this beautiful bookmark it's like made out of wood um sorry about that so i have this beautiful bookmark it's made out of wood um and it's designed by ink and wonder um which i have not checked out but i've been wanting to so beautiful looks so beautiful i just want to like look at it and touch it um so it's game of thrones themed and um with khaleesi daenerys um and it says i am the blood of the dragon yes that's what it said and it has this beautiful design of dragons and flowers and khaleesi it's so pretty i just love it so much and apparently it is made out of sustainable wood um and um and it was designed exclusively for this box so pretty oh my gosh um and then here's this little coin purse with dragons on it um and that was um designed by team alcrate in case you were wondering it has this little oh okay that's cute i like that um yeah it's very cute and so here is the item that was most popularly um, advertised. It is a book bow. So it is like a book cover. You put it on your books, I guess, to protect them. And it's cute. I think you can also use it on Kindles, that kind of thing. Um, it's really pretty. Um, they're also very popular. This was designed by, um, by Bookbow, which, that makes sense. Um, yeah, apparently it fits most paperbacks, some hardbacks, um, and you know, keeps them clean and safe. Um, and this has like mermaids, unicorns on it, so that's really cool. Oh, there's a few birds and flowers. And then here's this uh, sticker. Uh, this is designed by Suzanne Draws, um, and it has Hagrid and Buckbeak slash wither wings on it um and that's cute i like that and then finally here is um oh that's cool so the book is before she ignites by jody meadows um and this is an exclusive owl crate cover which is super cool so it came with a signed little book plate thing 
And then, I guess this goes with the book and it's like a guide to different dragons. Um, when the, and this is a letter from the author. Oh, there we go. Uh, a letter from the author. Um, um, and it says, Dear All Crate Readers, when I was young, I collected all things unicorn. The first one was a gift, and soon I went searching for more. Is it any wonder that I grew up to write fantasy books? In Before She Ignites, Mira falls in love with dragons the same way. A single gift shapes her entire life. But in her world, dragons are real and endangered. Mira is a fierce advocate for dragons, and she longs to help them however she can. One of my biggest goals for this book was to capture the same sense of wonder I felt as a young girl just learning about magical creatures, and I hope it ignites a spark of fascination in you too, Jodi Meadows. That's really nice. I like that. Um, and then here's the cover again on it. And then on the back it says, I shouldn't have told the truth, but I did. So it's told in like before and after, um, and... Apparently she struggles with anxiety, which again, that's something that's really cool for me because I do too. Um, she loves dragons, obviously. Um, ooh, I didn't notice that. Look at the S. It's like a dragon tail. That's so cool. I like that. Um, so she's known all around the world for her beauty and um, there's a peace treaty named after her. Um, and, um, but I guess she struggles with all the attention that's on her because of this. Um, but then she finds out this secret, um, and she's betrayed, um, and then she's sentenced to this prison, um, where the guard there will do whatever they have to, to get the secret that she has, um. And so she has to learn to survive on her own. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> it says on on the inside cover, the author, jo Jody Meadows wants to be a ferret when she grows up. And she has no self-control when it comes to yarn, ink, or outer space. Um, that That is very interesting. I like that. And then I have this little card with the theme for the October box, um, which is Find Me in the Forest. Um, and there is going to be a candle in it, um, from the Wick of Time, which is super cool. Um, yeah. And it has a really pretty design on both sides. Um, what's this? Oh, and it has, like, a little interview, a pamphlet with a little interview from the author. Um, oh, and the cover differences. Uh, I guess the... It's more golden on ours. Um, and then there's a crossword, an interview with Bookfo. Um, and then the challenges for um, for Instagram for this. And yeah, and then it talks about the October theme. Thank you for, oh, wait, and it comes with this little thing. Ooh, there we go, dropping things again. Um, when it has the griffin on it. That's so pretty. I like, it matches my background, like almost exactly. By the way, my background is a tapestry from Evie Bookish. So pretty, oh my gosh. I, I love everything by her and I need it all put money. That is my second Owl Crate unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. I love everything that came with it. I love this cover. It's so beautiful. Um, and then I'd have to say my other two favorite items are these two, the bookmark and the Son of Poseidon. Oh, it makes a little noise. I like that. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Um, and I hope you're, you'll look forward to my next unboxings. Thank you.